In Cameroon, you can go to school. You know, you can't want to go to school all you want, but there's not that many opportunities. They're very, very limited. My mom just wanted better for her family. To see her struggle as much as she did, you know, she was working three jobs. I had to get that scholarship. At least, you know, she didn't have to, like, pay for my school. And then I could just make her a proud mother. I was very excited to come here. You know, I had this idea of, I'm finally gonna be with my mom and it's gonna be wonderful. And it was just all these expectations. And then you get here and almost every expectation is broken, right? There were a lot of mixed emotions and a lot of bullying. And so I felt very alone a lot of the time. And I see that all the time with our teens. I started experience with you around 16. I'm comfortable to talk about this now. I was molested by my stepfather. That started my using. I didn't want to feel what I was feeling, the anger, the resentment. Where are you going to save my life? Thirty years ago, there was the urgency of pregnant women needing care, but realizing very early on that we needed more than that. So Mary Center for me and how I like to describe it is an organization that enables families to move up that economic ladder through education and support. At the core is making sure that people stay healthy, but also it's that whole social service component to support families because this model, I believe, can really transform lives. Mary Center is really seen as a voice in the DC policy arena. Um, they're seen as a thought leader and a thought partner and an innovator with a leadership team that consistently has a seat at the table to talk about what's going on in D.C., what could improve in D.C., and are recognized as really a leader in the field. So now I want to welcome Maria up here right now so we can give Mary Center special recognition. Um, each year, HRSA uh, denotes the top uh, percentage of health centers by clinical quality measures as health center quality leaders. And it's my honor to present it to Mary Center once again oh, this year uh, for to recognize your outstanding work in 2017. When people come in here, they don't just come for the medicine. We, we see this as an opportunity to take people who for decades, their whole life, have been kind of ignored or disrespected by the medical community and all of a sudden we're here and we say we want you here these are the services we have and we want you in them i've been homeless over 30 years i never thought that i would live to see 61. i didn't know how to go to a doctor nobody ever say go talk to somebody i use drugs my recovery and by me coming here it, it gives me a lot of hope I think Mary Center is the perfect model of the needs that teenagers have. It's always been, I want you to have the tools for you to have the same opportunities everyone else has. Because most of the teens that come in this place come with trauma. They come without health insurance. They come without feeling the sense of belonging. And Mary Center provides all those things. There's just so many opportunities here that if you're willing to like take those opportunities, they're there. Now I'm like going to Penn State for free and it's just so, it's just so amazing. Good job. I've been at Mary Center for 14 years and I think the reason I've stayed is because we have the social change model and because we have the social service support and we have the education support. It helps us take care of the whole patient and the whole family. Not only that, I mean it helps the community. Being able to say, you know what, we have a program that can help you with your English and at the same time help your child with developmental milestones. I never feel at a loss of what to do with how to help someone. Coming to Mary Center to learn English through the BRIA program has helped me a lot. Now I'm able to communicate with the teachers at school with my kids or to help them better with the homework. Plus, I heard about medical assistant program, which I get into as well, and I'm working here in the city. 
So the other side of the coin is that we change with community, right? So the new community that is here in the city, how do we engage them? Because they have the resources, they have health insurance, but all of us needs to have someone who can care about your health in a way that is not just a transaction. The quality of care is fantastic. And I have three kids, so I'm there a lot. <laughs> My husband and I also switched over to the primary care at Mary Center. We understood when we started that our privately funded insurance would help other people who didn't have insurance get medical care. By going to Mary Center and supporting Mary Center, I really believe I am doing something positive, productive, and concrete that will actually help. Every dollar counts, but more important, your solidarity, it validates the work that we do, but it also tells the most least resourced of all of us that they have a community that cares for them. This program means a whole lot to me, a whole lot. Today I'm not homeless, I'm in a transitional housing, supportive housing. I graduate in September the 14th with Department of Behavioral Health as a peer specialist. <laughs> so I'm be able to help people just like myself, just like myself, to give back and give them some hope. It's been like three years and I'm in college now and I still come here. That means there's something here that keeps me here. Like, have, you, have you done your taxes? No. I want to give back to the community. I can say that personally, Mary Center is a safe haven. A lot of the time, I was hearing at Mary Center what I wasn't hearing at home. And that made a huge difference for my self-esteem and for what I believed I could accomplish in my life. I felt like I could go into the world and say, I have a crew back at Mary Center who has my back and who's there for me. Home. <laughs> Home, not only for me, but for everyone that walks through the doors.